Land's End Feel Good yarn feels really, really nice to the touch. It's super comfy, super soft, and very warm. The Feel Good campaign is the perfect convergence of giving, shopping, and craftiness. For every Feel Good sweater that you purchase, yarn will be donated to warming families. We'll give it to knitters all over the country to make caps for the homeless and displaced. If you're not a knitter, no worries. We've got the pattern written out. You'll have a hat done in no time at all. This is the ribbed hat we're gonna be making. Super simple, casual, goes with anything. I'm gonna show you how to cast on, how we do the rib stitch. If you like, there's optional striping. I used yarn out of my own personal stats just for a personal touch. More rib stitch, decreasing, binding off, and that's all there is to it. Let's dive right in. Our first step is we're gonna be casting on. We're gonna be doing the long tail cast on. If you have another cast on that you like better, go for it. It doesn't really matter for this particular project. First, we need to tie a slip knot. All you do for that one is make a little cursive E and then push your yarn through. You'll have a little loop. You're gonna place it on your circular needles. Put it in, tighten it up. Make sure it's, it's tight, but not so tight that you can't move it. All right, then hold the yarn in your pinkies and separate it and pull it down. It kind of looks like a little slingshot. All right, so now we're gonna go under the one that's by your thumb, over the yarn that's at your forefinger and through. Now you can see right here that the, the stitch is formed and then pull it on you just cast on a stitch. And you just continue doing that for as many stitches as the pattern calls for, depending on what size you're making. Once you've finished casting on all the stitches, it's time to join. What you wanna do is make sure that you lie it down first though, and make sure that the yarn isn't twisted. And you can tell that by the way that these little bumps are facing. They should all be facing inward. So the first stitch is knit. Insert it, you're gonna wrap around the back needle, dip it through, and you can see that you're already creating that stitch, and then pull the old one off. And you've knit your first stitch and it's joined in the round now, you can see that. And we're gonna knit another one the same way. Insert the needle, wrap it around the back needle, dip it under, there's your stitch. Now pull the old one off. So now we're ready to purl, which is exactly the opposite of a knit stitch. Your yarn will be, the working yarn will be in the front. And then instead of coming up through the stitch, you're gonna go down through it. So you're gonna go into the stitch, wrap it around the front needle this time, dip under, and you see that you've created that stitch there, and then pull the old one off. One more time, into the stitch, wrap it around the front stitch, dip under, and this is where you're pulling the yarn through and slide it off. So now we've done our knit two and our purl two rib. That's all you're gonna do for really the rest of this hat until we start decreasing. So super simple. And at first, for the first couple rows, it'll feel a little bit tight don't worry, it'll ease up once you have a little bit of the ribbing done. So as you can see, we've continued ribbing, depending on the size, for anywhere from five and a half to six and a half inches, and now we're ready to decrease. So to decrease, you're gonna do the knit stitch, which you already know how to do, only we're gonna be knitting two together. Inserting your right needle into the left hand stitches, going through both, wrapping around, pull it through, and you can see you've got your two stitches over here and the one new stitch. You're pulling those two stitches off. And now we've made two stitches into one. And you'll continue in that manner as the pattern suggests all the way around. So as you're decreasing, your needle's suddenly be gonna become too long for your hat. So it'll be time to transfer over to double pointed needles. These can be a little bit spooky to some people because there's so many of them. But don't be intimidated because you're only working on two at any given time. Do that to transfer them over. 
instead of knitting onto this needle, the other side of your circular, you ditch that one and just bring in your double point. So we're starting off with a purl here. It doesn't matter where you start off, just at the beginning of the row. So you'll follow the pattern as it suggests, only transferring them completely. Now, once you get done with all of the decreases, you're gonna be ready to cinch off the top. And you can see that there's been a nice little curve created by your decreases. You're gonna snip your yarn, leaving about, oh, I'd say a six inch tail, and then put it onto a tapestry needle. And all you do is loop this through and you're taking it off the needles. And then you cinch it shut. You can see it completely closes it up. And then you'll have your long piece of yarn. You're just gonna poke it through. And then you'll just weave in your ends. And your hat's completely done, except for you have these little straggly bits. So all you wanna do is turn it inside out. You wanna do a little weaving in action like this. You're just going over and under the stitches and really you're just burying the yarn so that people don't see the straggling edges and also so it doesn't unravel. Pull it through, snip it with your scissors and that's all there is to it. So once you've woven in your ends then you're completely done with your great hat, super comfy. Anybody would be proud to wear it. You can also add an extra bonus personal touch. Download this feel good card from the Land's End website. You can sign your name for just that added touch. Thank you so much for joining me, Land's End, and warming families to do a little good. I hope it makes you feel as good as it does me. Happy knitting.